my garage. Today I'm starting a new project. Um, it's the gingery four jaw chuck as described in book six of his series, The Divided Head and Deluxe Accessories. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, what he calls it a simple chuck. It's a fair, fair bit of work to get the mechanisms uh, working. It's not difficult, but there's a fair bit of time because uh, there's four, four screws, four nuts, uh, four bearing journals to make. Just time, time consuming. But it's a reasonably simple uh, chuck and it only has three patterns. I haven't made the pattern for the jaws yet. But the face, front plate and the back plate, they mount that way. And the jaws mount on this face and the mechanisms work through underneath there. Uh, so let's get started and we'll make the gingery four jaw chuck. Let's do it. Welcome to my foundry in the corner of my garage. Uh, I'm just preparing the sand for um, what am I preparing it for? The four jaw chuck, the gingery four jaw chuck. I haven't, uh, I haven't used the sand for a number of months and it's been sitting here. It had a plastic cover over the top of it, but it's all dried out. And I never de-clumped it, crushed it, mulled it. So, uh, and my mulling, mulling process is by hand. Takes a while, but it works pretty good. So, uh, leave me with it, and I'll, I will continue crushing the sand. I'm uh, turning down the four risers. These four risers. Can you see that? No, you can't. Try that. Okay, these these four risers. That's what I'm uh, turning down at the present moment. Right, we move on another seven eight. Yep. Got to make four of these. So this will get the third one out and I'm going to make some more room for a fourth one.
that one roughed out. I think that's the back one, the smaller one. Ah, oh, that's about. Biggest problem with these biggest problem with these machines is a very little throat. Let's try this. Back in business. Okay, we're in business. All right, that's uh, that's the taper done. I just got to polish that up a bit, clean that up, get the fur off it. It's the only problem with um, plywood. Um, it was a bit of a job to get in there because the um, the disc was just touching the bed. Off that was the cut off the bandsaw. Uh, it's okay now, but it's right on its outer limits. All right, I'll um, put a bit of sandpaper to this, and then I'll. This is the front plate. Then I've got to hold the back plate and bring it down to size, but it's smaller, easier to get to. Uh, very nice. Yeah, I've got dust all over the camera. I did the um I did the four knobs, the little hubs, I did it the wrong size, so we now have to have a seven-eighth 
major end and a three quarter minor end. So a seven, seven eight major, that's 850. 0.85, is it? 8.750, 8.875 8, I should say, 0.875 Okay, we're down to one inch, one inch, 40 foul, so we'll take Take the 40. I'm building the gingery four jaw chuck. So starting off with the patterns. The first pattern is the back plate. I've, um, I've cut the back plate out, put it on the lathe, reduced it to its uh, four and three quarter inches diameter, uh, put some um, uh, draft. There we go. Put some draft in it, and and I've made the the pads. The small hubs. Yeah, these small pads have got to go equidistant, four of them, glued and uh, brad nailed. Uh, since I turned these up on the lathe, there's a six mil hole in there, so I'll just um, use some wooden dowels. Well, they're not going to go anywhere. Now, it calls for a hub on the back. That was because this was designed to uh, fit onto the three-quarter or five-eight, five-eight main main shaft spindle of the lathe. Um, now, I I have a Chinese mini lathe that doesn't have that, so I'm going to put a uh, five-six millimeter plate on the back. Fix, fix it on and then turn the register out so it'll be an annulus plate turn the register out so it will then fit onto the lathe and uh, three studs three studs yes three six mil um, six millimeter studs but that's that's later once I have the aluminium casting so this is the um, the back plate pattern looks good all right I'll go and sort out what he means with with this I may not do this I may just um, do a flat plate and mill it out in the milling machine. Although Gingery says it's easier just to do it by hand. But by the time I make this, cut the timber to shape, make this pattern, and then do a, a, um, do a cross inside the pattern. I don't know, I'll look on the uh, milling machine. It's only a, well, it's only a six and a half inch, six and three quarters. Six and five eight should be able to stand that up on the milling machine and and mill out the twenty mil slot. That's the um, that's the pattern for the front plate. So 
So I think I'll just um, I'll try this on the fit this up on the mill onto a, an angle plate. Angle plate there, and I can just mill it across and mill it up. Can't go down because the angle plate will be there. I can then turn it around, pick up the reference line off that, clamp it, and then run it to the top. Maybe. I'll think about it. Catch you later. I was thinking, because I'm not going to put the hub on the back here, and it's not running off the gingery spindle, and, and it's going to be bolted up to the mini lathe spindle. Um, the bolts that go through to hold these two halves together, in gingery's book, In Gingery's book, you can see that the uh, the bolt hole, the, the bolts, the heads of the bolts come through the back here, through there. But that's the face. That face is the one you can see. You can see the hub here. Well, I won't have the hub, and that and this face here will be mounted against the lathe spindle. So I've got these four bolts in the way. Now, I could bring them through from the other side, but then I got four bolts sitting through on this face, and this is the operative um, uh, face. That's where the jaws are going to run, that's where the material is going to sit up against. Um, so the heads of these bolts need to be sunk into either the the back plate or if I come through from the back the heads have to be sunk into the plate or the heads have to be sunk into the front plate and if I this is about seven six and a half seven millimeters thick I make a seven uh, uh, seven or eight millimeter deep, we'll say ten millimeter deep hole because I'll put a washer underneath on a 19 or 20, 20 millimeter board I'm only hanging on by by 10 mil thickness not real happy with that so these bolts will be coming in as planned from the back but I will um, countersink I will countersink this back plate so that the head, heads and washer will be lower than this back face because that's where this is not the annular part it's a large washer I've, I have in my toolbox it would actually do the job the only thing I, I don't like about it is it's smaller than the outside diameter of the back plate and I would like to, it to be the same size so I don't think I'll be using that but anyhow we're going to be taking material away and weakening the back plate so what I plan to do is I've got a disc Uh, that was a uh, what was that? Oh, something to do with the cabin. That's right. It was a template. Anyhow, I will glue another five millimeters on onto this back plate and make it approximately 25 mil thick to to replace the thickness, the metal that I will be uh, counter-boring out. So yeah, it's 25 mil. So we just put a, another board on the back.
Okay, I will go and put this in the vise and clamp it and vise it. And we'll wait for that to dry.